Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Rigzar. So we're going to be doing an unboxing in this video. Yes, I, I've done a very poor job of getting more things out of the basement than in, but uh, things are finally starting to settle down as far as the personal life. So hopefully I can get uh, to continuing to part out things and sell things and uh, simplify things. Uh, this doesn't seem to be helping with it, though, with this video. So we're going to do, uh, we've got five, one, two, three, five packages. The one is very special. It's from Buggles Kelly, 37, Jenny. So this is all the way from the UK. So I'm going to open this up and see what's in here. Oh, and so... I've been uh, piecing together a set that I've been meaning to piece together for a while. I just finally got motivated. And then each day I would look for some of the parts in my collection. First I started with things in my BrickLink store. And this is a set from 1989. Uh, so I'm not worried about like bricks and plates being 1989 vintage. It doesn't really matter. But uh, the, some of the other parts are vintage. But I, I, I found most of them. I, I'm actually down to three pieces that... I have a hard time doing three. I do it like that. Three. Why is it? This finger does not want to cooperate. It's th three. I need three pieces, which are, or, is, or it is. Is it are or is? I'm not good at grammar. I need a two by eight Technic white plate, a two by eight black Technic white plate. Those are the ones with the regular plate but with the holes the whole technic holes in them and then i need a black hinge and i got thousands <laughs> well it's, i'm hyperbole there but i got i have a lot of these hinges because i was using them when i was building the bmr stuff i don't know where i put them <laughs> i found two i need three for the set so there's only three pieces i need and it, it's, it's surprising that two by eight plates technic plates in white and black are hard to find. I was like, it's like, you know what? I, th I was like, I'll just go to uh, Walmart and buy a set that has them in it. And it's either, they're either in big sets or sets from a few years ago. So it's not, even though it's not technically discontinued, it's hard to finding those two pieces in sets that are reasonable uh, to buy. So yeah, uh-oh, oh no. All right, it says, hello Jabbo, the governor, just a quick, present from ebay so that's a note from jenny let me just make sure i haven't missed anything here in this box okay let me set that there jenny what do we got well i got some vintage base plates ah wow and these are in man this is in excellent condition so this is I should know the pattern, <laughs> but this pl plate, it is so shiny. Um, wow. And then this is the same set here. Is it the gravel quarry? <laughs> it's the, gra the old gravel quarry. Let's see here. And then uh, we got one of the, the old houses. And then, oh man, this is a very unusual one. That is fascinating. And these are all in super excellent condition. So, um, wow, Jenny. <laughs> so, in piecing together vintage sets, this will come in handy. This, I think this is a, one of the little cottages. But this, this is such an odd pattern. Um, yeah, so name the set. This is your challenge. Um, for you guys which set did these come in and it's pretty easy to search you can search by base plates green and dots <laughs> the ones that have dots there I'm trying to get it where you can see all of, well that one that one and that one i think that's 344 i'm saying this is 351 but i may be wrong those are just numbers I threw out there. So uh, thank you, Jenny, for that, that surprise present. So let's do this stuff to get it out of the way. This looks like a GWP box. Let's see what's in here real quick. 
Oh yeah, that was a gift for purchase. That was a gift for purchase. Oh, it's a different gift with purchase now. So these were three, I got three free items. Um, and I just got, <laughs> this is the, this should be the item that I bought to get the free item. It is deja vu all over again. Get this out of here. Another one of the all right. Wow. So uh, the Black Panther <laughs> set is now a lot taller than me. Actually, four are taller than me. Five almost goes up to the ceiling. So that's that's pretty amazing. So that, and I've reached my limit. Uh, not only can my basement not hold another one, but the uh, that's all you supposedly that's all you can buy is five unless I go to the store and get one. This is a good purchase here, an uh, expensive one. I got these are Fabuland figures. We got the Aviator Bird. I, I don't know. I don't. I won't remember any of the names. But this this one here, this is a mouse. I think the mouse with the yellow. That goes to the 36.79 meal set that I'm piecing together, <laughs> and this also goes to the meal set. This is this is a horse, of course, of course. I hope that's the right horse. Uh, but those were rather expensive. <laughs> and then I got some vintage pigtail hair there. All right, now this is the last one. This is from eBay, and this is from a seller that had like 25 feedback, so you know, it's relatively new or just hadn't sold a lot of things. And it was a buy it now, and I was like, huh. It seemed like a good price, so I bought it now. <laughs> Go to life today. Uh, let's do it this way. So, oh, and here's the thing, it was a new seller I got this in two days from the time I did buy it now. Two days later, it was here. And I was like, wow, that was fast. And they did an excellent job, it appears, of packing it. Yeah. Oh, let's see, they got a note here. Thank you for your purchase. But, and I, I'll probably do a separate video. I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> it's one of the three themes that love two by two bricks for some reason. There may be more than that, but the three, what are the three Lego themes that love two by two bricks? Uh, Fabuland, <laughs> uh, Minecraft, and Dink and Mint Lego. This uh, thinking with Lego. This box is immaculate. I mean, it's, it's scuffed up, but it's like for the age. This is, I think, early 70s. Uh, it's German, but it's uh, like a thinking strategy thing it's got the guidebook in it it's got oh my goodness all the i wonder that i don't know what all of the paperwork should be in here but it's got the paperwork it's got the cards don't could be some missing who knows but um a bunch of cards it's got the tray it's got the dice it's got this little sorry people. <laughs> don't don't know for sure if those go with it or not. They maybe they do. Let's see here. It's all in German. I can't read. Mostly it's just two by two bricks. So those could be just random game pieces that were thrown in there, or they could go with it. But I'll go through this, do some more research on it. Gib. It means give, right? Um, Ender, it says Ender mit Anders aus oben in und. Wait a minute. Is Dinkin mit Lego, is that German or Danish? <laughs> I'm always getting it wrong <laughs> when I don't know the language. Uh, but yeah, thinking with Lego. Oh, I got this book. I love this book. 
Uh, so yeah, I've always wanted to get one of these. So uh, let me know what language is Dinkin Mint Lego. It's always it's always good to uh, default to uh, Danish, but it could be German. I mean, get. I think it's German. Spiel. Uh, Mit Spiel Bach. Book. Mit Spiel Bach. Uh, set 1512. So that is. So which of these things, other than the what Jenny sent me? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's the the haul. I'm gonna go back to looking for these uh, Technic plates. I know I got some in here. There's got. I just can't. Where would the Technic plate be? Two by eight. Yeah, I think the the white the they're in the um, Futuron monorail, but I don't want to take one from my Futuron monorail. So I gotta go look for something. I did find some vintage sets that had them that I may have, but I may end up going on Bricklink and buying them because, yeah, the new sets, it's hard to find them in the new sets. Uh, but I'm gonna go. Y'all keep uh, dinking Mint Lego. See ya.